part of our value is really sustainability. And this initiative that we're talking about here today on going with electric and getting away from carbon, I mean, that is something that is really core to our values and we see that as a very good fit. Really, the goal is to see if this, this unit, the EC230, really works. And we want to make sure it works at this, this larger United Boulevard facility. So, you know, the excavators, we use it really as a support equipment to the wheel loaders. But this is a stepping stone into the larger units that are available in electric. That's what we really want. MTERRA noticed that the EC230 was being unveiled and they showed a lot of interest in that unit, seeing that it would fit with their goals of sustainability. We contacted Volvo expressing MTERRA's interest in it, hoping to bring some machines here for them. And they were generous enough to bring out the EC230 for them to try out. I've been lucky enough to be on the EC230 for about a month now. Primarily, we've been using the EC230 to uh, crush, break down some of the bulkier material in the building and just move that material around it so it's more efficient. I really enjoy the EC230. The electrical, see, it has a really nice even power band. It doesn't seem to uh, fluctuate much. Very smooth, really nice to operate that way. Yeah, I really enjoy it. It really is about the charge time and it's about the operating time and that balance that we have as far as scheduling. Now, in addition to that, we want to make sure like, that we are getting our payloads and we're maximizing the volume that's going out into these trucks to make sure we're really reducing the emissions and the greenhouse gases that are being emitted. So that's really the core portion of like, what we're really evaluating. But it's also too, it's like, you know, do the equipment operators, like how did they react to it? You know, are they pleased with the machine? You know, it's really making sure like the, the customers that we have coming in are having a good customer experience and the EC230 is really, all indication is it's lending to that. As of right now, depending on how much uh, the, the workload we have on it, it would be between four to 4.5 hours to work the machine for the four hours in the morning. And then while the operator takes his lunch and does his servicing, the machine can be charged back to 80% and work another for the full day. We have the ability to pull it out of the building and put it on the charger really anytime we need to. For us, it works great. Compared to a diesel engine, with currently with Volvo's warranties on these batteries and the electric systems, you're pretty good covered for seven years. So that definitely reduces the cost for maintenance. It has fully exceeded my expectations, quite honestly. I wasn't sure what to expect running an electric piece of equipment, and um, I'm quite pleased. The performance of the EC230 is the same as a regular conventional EC220 machine, but they get some added benefits. The machine is cleaner, quieter, and runs with less maintenance. I'm really excited about Volvo's vision on sustainable construction equipment. I'm glad to see that they're being innovative and investing in it. It's going to be interesting to see what they have for the future. People are starting to embrace the idea of electric machines, the more sustainable options that are out there. Um, it's not yet there for everybody, but uh, we're excited to see where the market will go with it. You know, providers, manufacturers like Volvo, coming in and making sure like, you know, having these units like available to us, like to suit our needs. So to me, like we're, we're really just breaking the ice as far as like getting, you know, into carbon neutrality and really getting into like these facilities going, you know, greenhouse gas neutral. That means everything to me. So like, as far as like no emissions, no noise, I mean, it's a, it's a really good setup and the, the potential for replacing really, you know, our entire yellow iron fleet is there. We're quite excited about that.